Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making Instant Pot Barbecue Chicken Legs. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun! <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And it Lou. And today we are going to make an instant pot favorite in this house. It is our instant pot barbecue chicken legs. Best part about this is, you know, we are low carb family and this is definitely a low carb recipe. You can modify it however you want to make it not so, but this is the way we're going to do it. And trust me, hand on my heart, Boy Scout, I wasn't a Boy Scout, but I'll use their salute. Mm -hmm. And say, this is the best barbecue chicken legs I've ever had. And really? the best part is, is it's fast. Yeah. Like a chicken. Super fast. Like a, like a really fast chicken. Well, yeah. Like a super chicken. <laughs> so, it goes a little something like this. You need chicken. Chicken. Now, the recipe that we have on the site calls for four pounds of chicken legs. Unfortunately, our little store ran out of chickens so they only had three pounds but all we got to do is modify the time other mm -hmm. than that this is just like it is on the site but what you need is the chicken you also need one cup of chicken broth you need one tablespoon of brown sugar substitute like i said before in a previous video sucrine gold is what we use if you just want to use brown sugar you can it's up to you but we're going low carb so we're going to do the brown sugar substitute and then you're going to need one teaspoon of paprika how do you say it? Do you say it paprika or paprika? I say that, paprika and I giggle every time you say paprika. That's like, it okay. sounds like you're, how you, you forgot. How do you say the little the little nuts that you put in pie? Pecan? Or is it pecan? Or is it pecan? I've heard it all three. Pecan is an insurance company and that's spelled P-E-K-I-N. Or it's what you're doing when you look through a little crack. And then you also need one wow. teaspoon of, we kind of got off there a little bit, one teaspoon of dry mustard, one teaspoon of ground cumin. Between the cumin and your paprika, paprika, how, whatever, <laughs> that's going to give kind of a smoky flavor to your barbecue uh, chicken legs. You want one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and then we're going to add a little bit of heat to it. So we're going to use one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you like more heat, add more cayenne. If you're not much for the heat, throw it out. Well, just don't put any in. <laughs> and then also one stick of butter that has been sliced up. We'll get to that. First thing I want to do is take the lid off of my crock pot. Uh, electric pressure cooker. I had to think about it for a minute because there's so <laughs> many different variations. Instant pot is what you think of when you think of electric pressure cookers. Mm -hmm. Instant pot is kind of like, you know how you say, oh, let me go grab my crock pot, but it's actually made by Cuisinart, but everybody says crock pot. Everybody's going to say instant pot, even though this is made by crock pot because everybody's jumping in and doing it. So it's confusing. So go grab your electric pressure cooker of choice. And then I'm going to take my one cup, Ooh, easy. almost one cup yeah, now, of that. chicken broth in the bottom. Now for the rest of it, we're going to do this. You want to hold it or I want me to hold it? You hold it. Okay, that I'll hold it. it's it messy, it'll be on you. All of the dry ingredients into the bag. So there's our onion powder, there's our garlic powder, there's our cumin. Ooh. Almost all the cumin. There it goes. There's our mustard. Dry mustard, by the way. <laughs> yeah. There's our... You're going to make fun of me when I say it. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? The red what, stuff. What was that? Paprika. <laughs> and then... It sounds like Eureka when you say it, like, paprika. <laughs> like, I found hey, it. Hey, what is that? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's... That is brown sugar, everybody. One tablespoon of brown sugar, and then our quarter teaspoon. <laughs> it's awful dusty. Quarter Please. teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So now all I want to do is mix it up. Mm -hmm. Make it all one giant seasoning. So you just shake it vigorously. Make sure that your Ziploc bag is completely closed. It's shaking, baby. Can I help? There's no baking. Just no. shake it. It's shaking instant pot. It's not for crap. Electric pressure goes. See, we don't even know what we got. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna do some, we're shaking. That's all we know. Chicken! Chicken. Now we got three pounds, so I say we split that in half and do it 
half at a time. So there's a, a one chicken leg, a two chicken Dang. legs, and let's let's stop right there. Three chicken legs. We'll go on the third chicken. Then we're gonna have, yeah. And then you put your chicken in a bag. And you shake it really hard. And you shake it all about. That's what it's all about. Chicken! Ha. Just to get them coated. And now, chicken out and into your pot. I'm not going to chicken out. Don't uh -huh. be scared. Just get a leg up on it. There you go. There's one. Oh, they look so pretty. They do look that pretty. Actually, it kind of does look like shake and bake. Yeah, it does. Except a lot more like colorful. Like you know what I mean? Shake and uh -huh. bake was always kind of yellowish. Well, it's got your reds and your oranges and your browns and your greens and just artful. Green. We'll make an art. Yeah, the cumin's got a little green in it. It does. <laughs> and now we'll do it again. Three more legs. Actually, let's go ahead and do all the legs. I want to see what happens when you put it all in here one time. I might have just totally screwed up this recipe. We're about to find out. That and I don't want to run out of seasoning. And mm. those first three legs took a lot of the seasoning. They, they, they look good though. They smell good. When you put all those spices together, it smells amazing. amazing. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna shake it up. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you get them all coated? I only not can, but I will. I only not can. I think My can. English I think is I can. wonderful. <laughs> That and you're coating these, but when you put the pressure on this and everything starts to boil, all those flavors are going to mix together anyway. So, you know what? Just to make sure that we don't get those two done, grab those three and put those back in this bag. Okay. I should have just did them all at once. One. Live and learn. Two. Really? Three little chicken legs. And now, since we've got them all in here, we'll do the chicken dance. You know, the da, chicken da, 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 dance da, 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 was not played at our wedding. You know why? why? I refuse to have it played. I still don't like that song. Whoever wrote that song, I apologize. I'm not trying to say that you do bad stuff. I just really can't stand the chicken dance song. Have you any all ever had the chicken dance song played at your wedding? Leave it in the comments down below. You know, I have no idea if it was played at Maya Michaels or not. Like, absolutely no. Do you all even know what the chicken dance is? That's the chicken dance. Now, as you can see, I don't want to play it at my wedding. Because <laughs> I look ridiculous when I do it. All right, chicken legs. Do you have to Back eat? in your electric pressure cooker of choice. And if they lay on top of one another, it's okay. Then why can't we just dump them? That's a good idea. See, sometimes it's good to have help in the kitchen. That you would spread those evenly yeah, out. And then you're like, Mike, Mike, I don't understand. What did you do with all that butter for? And then I said, I will show you. Just as soon as Aunt Lou gets out of my way. So we should be able to show you this by next Tuesday. <laughs> butter right over the top of your chicken legs, just like that. It's going to give it a buttery flavor because, well... Butter. It's butter. <laughs> and you know so why smart. else I'm putting that butter on there? What? Because Chris told me to. Well, and it's her recipe, and I'm not one to argue with my wife. <laughs> oh, you're, you're not one to let tell me, the truth either, let me, huh? let me try this. <laughs> I'm not one to argue with my wife and win. Now that I'll believe. That'll, that goes better. All right, so before I go and put the lid on, guess what I'm going to do? What? Wash my hands. Good call. Touching raw chicken. Absolutely want to wash your hands. Mm -hmm. No cross contamination. I'm gonna go. Lou's just leaving. She just decided to go away. Actually, she doesn't want to share the sink with me. I understand. But now, what I want to do is drop my hands off, take my lid, and see if I can put it on there without asking Chris out. That's the best thing. And it's locked. Make sure I've got it set to not vent. Watch this. Can you see this up here? If you can see this, yeah, you really can't unless I move it here. There you go. You've got vent, don't vent. You want to don't, don't vent because you want this to seal up nice and tight. Mm -hmm. So the recipe says four pounds of chicken for 22 minutes. 
we've got three pounds of chicken, so if you do the math, actually I didn't do the math, I asked Chris, and she said do Chris it for 18. 18. <laughs> so we're going to do it for 18 on high, just like that. So it's going to come up to pressure, it's going to hold it for 18 minutes, and then it's going to come back down, and when it's done, we will come back and show you what a cooked chicken leg looks like in 3, 2, 1. Now our 18 minutes have gone by. Now, that's five minutes to get up to pressure, 18 minutes to come across to hold on to that pressure, and then five minutes to come down. So, and then 28 we, minutes later. Well, no, no, no. We let it, um, Chrissy recommends like just setting a timer for about 15 minutes after um, it's stopped holding pressure. And then after the 15 minute, then do the uh, this. quick release. See? A lot less eventful than yes. the time we did no it. No sputter. The and if you roast. need to to make sure that it's good, look down there. There's a little bitty thingy right there. It drops back down. That's the lock to keep it safe so that I can do this without blowing my hands off. And also want to make note that the reason we did 18 minutes, again, just a reminder, is because we have three pounds, not four pounds. So if you have four pounds, you're going to be doing it for 22 minutes. Yes, what she said. Mm -hmm. So now, tongs and look at that. You're chicken. welcome. Look at that chicken. Oh, you smell it? Yes. You smell it? I was ignoring your bad joke. Ha. Smell that? It smells it so good. awesome. Now what you want to do, you can eat your chicken like this. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to blame it. It smells really good. I'm really hungry. I know I want to. I know. But here's the however. If you remember from a previous video, we made our own low-carb barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put some of that on there. And we're going to use our broiler in order to caramelize that flavor Look at all that the seasoning chicken. on them already yep, yep. though. That's oh, yummy, yummy. It smells really good. You can really smell that paprika. Oh my goodness. So we'll get that there just like that. And all I want to do is take my basting brush. I'll set my tongs right there. And take that handy take dandy that. barbecue sauce uh -huh. that we made. It's nice and thick. It is. It's thickened up really well. And I'm just going to brush the tops of them really really well now this sauce as we showed you before is good for this it'd be good for ribs anything you want to barbecue and making it homemade like this if you just put it in an airtight container it will last in your fridge for how long for i believe she said at least a week oh now, time I, to use it up when she made this sauce first thing she said was i ought to bottle that <laughs> So watch out, sweet baby Ray's. <laughs> Chris Goode's coming after my you. My sweet baby's going to come after you with her own <laughs> little sauce. We'll just baste over the top like that. That one's already done. I'll do this one here. It's running from you. <laughs> one more. It's a live chicken. It's not a live chicken. It's <laughs> no, completely no. cooked through. And then we'll top this one right here. I can flip it over and do the other side, but I think for the fact that we're really hungry, and this sauce will go a long way on top of these legs. Sure, we're even there. So now, oh, that little piece just fell. That's the thing is this chicken has fall off the bone, so you definitely want to be careful when you're handling it. I'm gonna pop this in the broiler for two to five minutes, depending on your broiler. You do not want to go into the other room. You don't want to go mow your yard. It makes me nervous just to look away from the broiler. And honestly. if you're mowing your yard when we're taping this, it's like January and it's really cold <laughs> outside and I don't know where you live, but I want to move in because <laughs> it's really cold. That's why we want ourselves some hot chicken. So we're going to come back with some good tasty broiled chicken in three, two, one, boom. And now the chicken is done. In fact, voila, here it is. Look at that chicken. Now, I will be very careful because that is a hot pan, but I want to see if I could show you all. Look at the caramelization on that there chicken leg. You see that? I think maybe right there we go. Look at that yeah. chicken. Yummy, yummy. That is seriously good. So it's really hot. I'm thinking a fork. And then it was hot again. The loop. Yeah. I'll present you a beautiful, delicious chicken leg. Have at it. Hey, here. here. I'll hold it. To the it. other side. So, yeah. Whew, that's a big bite. That barbecue sauce is amazing. Okay, and seriously, as we have now dubbed me the sugar princess. Um, 
But even the sugar princess approves of this low carb meal. Well, it's not just that, she's also a picky eater. So, oh. <laughs> a little bit. You dig it? I dig it. That's good chicken, huh? Mm -hmm. That is good stuff. Mm. That's a thumbs up. Mm. So, I mean, I taste the vinegar from the sauce, of course. Mm -hmm. All the flavors that you cook that chicken and those flavors just soaked right down into that meat. I was going to say, so it's even really in the juicy. parts that's not mm -hmm. the outside, because sometimes they're yeah, you got flavor inside the chicken. Oh, yeah. You got flavor on the outside of the chicken. Of course, you caramelized it there when you put it under the broiler. So, oh, especially in the winter time, like it is right now, that's really good chicken. That's really good grilled chicken. You can do it in the summertime if you want to. Just if you want to do something low carb, absolutely check out that barbecue sauce. We'll leave a link for mm -hmm. the recipe as well as the video for it if you hadn't seen that down below. So you can check out that low carb barbecue sauce that I promise you is amazing. <laughs> So good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> like, I want some more. I think we're Keep gonna talking. let Lou I'm eat gonna the eat. chicken leg while I tell y'all goodbye. <laughs> if you like what you see right here, give us a thumbs up. And also, if you would, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, down below there's a little red button that says subscribe. Click that sucker, and you will automatically be a welcome member of the Croc Posse. Also, check the little bell down there right beside that subscribe button. Click it, and you'll know every time that we put up a new video. We thank y'all. We love y'all, and we hope y'all come back because y'all keep watching. We'll keep cooking. And all will be well. See y'all later. And get me a piece of that dough chicken. It's <laughs> good. Back off! Instant pop. Hey, Croc Posse. I don't know what we're making today, so. Chicken! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you buy your cigar. <laughs>